How to thank your photography clients. Can I tell you a secret? Finding new clients is the hardest thing to do in any new business. So hard that most people just give up after a really short time and then they just go back to their day job and finish their career miserable. This has led me to one of the biggest discoveries of my business. It is way easier to get clients to come back and to send referrals than it is to get new clients. So how do you get repeat business? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you my three favorite ways to thank your clients because that's where it starts. We're building relationships. This isn't a one-time transaction. I want every client to be a client for life. And this video is gonna help you do that. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd, and I genuinely like people, you know? I wanna build relationships, I wanna hang out with cool people, and that's how I built my business. If I didn't wanna to talk to people, I would just be a photo editor, or I'd write code like everyone else in Silicon Valley does. But here I am, building relationships with amazing humans, and that's what you're gonna learn in this video. My three favorite ways to thank your clients in a way that turns every client into a client for life. So firstly, sending out thank you cards. Number two, maintaining an email list. And number three, hosting events. Please do not feel overwhelmed by the things that I just said. I'm gonna break down exactly what those mean so you can do them also. Firstly, thank you cards. Super duper easy. I got blank stationery from Paper Source, or you can buy it from wherever you want. And I got a custom stamp made with my logo and another one that just says thank you. So on the envelope, I stamp my logo. Everything is black and silver because those are my brand colors. So I got black envelopes, black stationery, silver metallic pens, and logo on the envelope. And on the inside, the actual card, I just stamp thank you on the front cover. And then inside, I write three sentences to every single client. Their name, it was so great doing a shoot with you, I'm so stoked for the next one, and then a personal line about their experience, something from the shoot that definitely lets them know I wrote this for them. This isn't just a copy-paste email that I send out to everybody that has zero intention or personality, handwritten thank you cards. And quick ninja tip here, you don't have to be the one to write them. So my assistant helps me write my thank you cards. I keep a spreadsheet of client name and then personal sentence. And I just, you know, we go in once a week. She writes all the thank you cards from the previous week. We mail everything out. Easy peasy. She gets all their information from my CRM. Uh, I use Tave. Used to use Sprout Studio, whatever your, your CRM is. And that's it. Super easy process. And then mail them out. And I can't tell you how many times my clients have emailed me, called me, texted me after, and just to say thank you for the thank you card, right? They already had such an amazing experience in here. They love the photos. They can't wait to come back and do it again. But a handwritten thank you card just seals the deal. Super easy, very low cost. You can do this and it makes a world of difference. Number two, maintain an email list. Every business needs an email list. This is a non-negotiable and photographers are certainly no exception. I know you're thinking, I don't know what to write. I don't know how to get people on my list. How do I even start? I have videos for that in the Boudoir Guild if you wanna go learn how to build your own email list. But if you're already booking clients, you have their email address and you can get accounts on MailChimp if you want. I use Active Campaign. that's my favorite. You know, 15 bucks a month or something like that allows you to manage and communicate with all of these contacts. So your email list, you don't have to send out daily emails. I don't wanna write that many. My clients don't wanna read that many. You could send them you know, twice a month even, once a month. It doesn't matter, but be consistent about it. I think twice a month for an email, really, really easy to do. And it's not about sales. It's not about inviting them in to book another shoot. You know, you could share, hey, this month in our town, these festivals are going. I'm going to go check them out. Let me know if you're going, if you have any other fun ideas for family activities or whatever the thing may be. I mean, you could do that one every four months. Again, I have tons of training in the Boudoir Guild about how to send out these emails, what to say, how to structure them, how often to send them. But if you want to just dive in and try it out yourself, totally easy to do. But the idea is to stay top of mind. So client books you, email goes in the email list once a month, twice a month, however often you decide to do it, you send out emails. 
And if you're like, I'm not going to remember, cool, block the first day of every quarter and write six emails, right? You can write six emails in one day, schedule them out to go every two weeks for the next three months. And then in three months, set aside an hour or two, write six more emails. That is pretty darn manageable right there. It's really not as scary as it sounds when we first think about maintaining an email list. Not everyone's going to open them all. You know, if you get a 30% open rate, that's really good. Obviously, we want more. I'm at about 40, 50. Uh, last I checked. But again, I'm building quality relationships with my clients. I'm not sending them too many things. I don't just send a bunch of offers and sales and, you know, businessy stuff. I'm building relationships. You could send out client testimonials. We could, I could just keep going on. There are so many ideas for maintaining your email list. It's super easy to stay top of mind so your clients don't forget about you. And number three, this one's my favorite, hosting events. I love doing this for a handful of reasons. I like people and I like parties. Also, it's a great business opportunity. So we could do a fundraiser event, team up with a local restaurant or any local nonprofit, your chamber of commerce, and do a fundraiser. Get another restaurant involved or a local winery or a bar or something. People can come in, percentage of sales get donated to whatever the cause is for the community. Or uh, I had a Botox party here in my studio. This one, super easy to do, really popular. I reached out to a local nurse. She's a, an RN who has a Botox business. She does other things as well, but Botox, everyone knows it. A lot of people use it. So I reached out to all of my clients, posted on social media. Hey, we're doing a Botox day. $10 a unit, $12 a unit, $8 a unit. Whatever the person gives you the price for, advertise that because it's always cheaper when they do it at a party versus one-off appointments. It's like a bulk discount, basically. So we set up here in my studio, right where we're filming now. I just put out charcuterie boards and a bunch of wine and sparkly water in the backyard because I shoot at a home studio and I have a really nice backyard and just everyone came to hang out and she called everybody in by their scheduled appointment times. Super easy. We did a raffle drawing at the end. My stylists were here, gave away a free makeup session. I donated a photo shoot and then the RN who came in donated a certain number of units towards Botox. So we did a little raffle at the end. I booked a new client out of it. Everyone got new business. It was a great experience. My clients got to come hang out with new people. Everybody had a good time. One of the other things I do for my black label clients, which is my $4,000 package, this is where I want everyone to be. And I'm at about half my clients that buy in this package right now. So part of it is you get these black metal membership cards. You know, the black American Express cards basically got those and I made my own. So I had them printed. They say black label status on them. And this is an upsell for me. When you purchase this package, you get membership into our VIP club, which means you get to come to these events throughout the year. So I will host, you know, three or four different private photo shoot days throughout the year where black label clients can book a one hour time slot and I pick a new theme. And usually it's whatever I need new marketing material for. So if I need to ramp up my bridal boudoir marketing, then I'll say it's a white party. Everyone shows up in white and we just I do free photo shoots, basically. It's like a mini session day, essentially, for my top selling clients. Then they get the photos, they share them online, that's advertising, I get marketing materials, everybody wins. And it's just a fun day. Um, I did a spooky one last Halloween. So we had a sheet ghost outfit with lingerie underneath, or like a sexy witch, or you know, skeleton onesie, things like that. And we just played and had a ton of fun. So that's a good way to upsell your clients into purchasing higher packages by hosting these events throughout the year. And you only get invited if you're in the VIP club. So there you go. My three favorite ways to turn a one-time transaction into a client for life. Send out thank you cards. Super easy. Maintain an email list. Way easier than you think. And host events. Also easy and tons of fun. See, none of this was really that hard. And now you have ideas on how to do it. I have so many other great videos on this channel for finding new clients because you might be thinking that sounds great, but I got to get people in the door so that I can get them back in the door. Other videos on this channel, how to find photography clients, my favorite ways for 2022, look up that video as well. And if you want a thorough deep dive where I basically hold your hand and walk you through how I do everything in my own business, head to boudoirguild.com and check out the marketing section there. You are amazing. 
see you inside.